coming out of there. There it goes. Well, I finally got one. Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're gonna catch a mouse in the barn with by far the most valuable mousetrap that I've ever seen. This is what collectors refer to as the mouse mobile, and it was first patented by A.W. Phillips on April 7th, 1903. Now I've been trying to get my hands on one of these for many years. They're so rare, I know of less than 10 that exist, and they don't come up for sale very often. A few years ago, one came up for sale that wasn't complete, and the seller was asking for over $5,000 for one trap. I got this for slightly less than that as part of a larger mousetrap collection, and I'm really excited to add it to my rare mousetraps. This is by far the most valuable mousetrap I have in my collection of over 2,000 different mousetraps. Normally, you would never test it out and try to catch a mouse, but that's what we're gonna do. The way it works is this door is held open with a trigger, and it's being pulled down with a spring. The mouse will enter the front, pull on the spring, and when it does, I'm gonna be very careful, this will close. I don't want to go slamming this closed because it's so old and I don't want to break it, but we are going to test it out with mice in the barn. But first, I'm curious how the wheels work, so we're going to get a pet mouse and test it out. Okay, mouse, let's go for a ride in the mouse mobile. I'll open the door for you. And fortunately, there's a gap down here so it doesn't smash their tails. Now he just needs to squeeze through the side into the hole, then he can run on the wheel and cause the mouse mobile to roll. Well, all that seems to be going on is the mouse are pooping, but they're not going in the back. What I'm gonna do is set this up in the barn. I'm gonna take out my pet mouse. We'll set up the motion cameras, see if we can catch a wild mouse, and then see what happens if it goes in the back wheel and rolls away. Okay, you can come out of there, you pooping mouse. Oh, now it wants to go in the back. Well, my mouse decided to squeeze in the back instead of getting out. It's been pooping a lot. Look at all those poops there. And my pet mice are about twice the size of wild mice, so I had trouble fitting. I have a feeling the wild mice will go right in the back wheel. Now let's see if it actually rolls like an exercise wheel. Well, there it goes. It does work. Let's go set this up in the barn with motion cameras and see if we can get a wild mouse with one of the rarest mouse traps in existence, the mouse mobile. Well, last night we caught a mouse with one of the rarest and most valuable mouse traps in history, the mouse mobile. Overall, it's not a great mouse trap design. It only catches one mouse at a time, and I don't really understand why you need a mouse trap that rolls around the floor. But it's basically a novelty, a fun toy, and it does work. Now, what we caught is a native species. This is a deer mouse, and it's part of the natural ecosystem. Because we caught it in a live catch trap, we're not going to kill it. Instead, we're going to take it out in the wild and set it free. Then I'm gonna clean up the mouse mobile and place it in my mouse trap collection in the top shelf prize spot. I don't know how long it's been since a mouse mobile actually caught a mouse. This is the first one in many, many years, but it's gonna be retired. Now let's go set our native deer mouse free. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 800 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned. Come on out of there. There it goes.